So welcome back once again to my uh, Museum of Calculators. Last time I was talking about this very nice little model here, red LED, uh, kind of RPN notation. Now I want to switch completely and go to a mechanical one. Um, the reason I like it, this one, is because it's kind of small, very small, you see, compared to my hand. It's very well built. Um, and that's everything you want, I mean, like, mostly addition and subtraction, but it, it's a very well-made calculator and was very popular. Um, a lot of people were using that as a cash register, you know, and uh, in a small uh, shops to add numbers quickly and, and see that. So this one is a Resulta 7, and you have different models like uh, Resulta 9, BS9, and so on, but... Uh, I chose this one because it, it it's going to be useful to show how that works. So, let's see. First, you need to use a stylus for this one. There's different model, different companies where you could push all the wheels by your hand. But on this one, you need to use a special stylus like this. And the idea is that you will have to select on the wheels the number that you want to add. And we have seven column here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, sorry, seven column here. And uh, you can add numbers here and uh, up to seven digit long. So let's see. Um, what you have also at the bottom here is another window where you can see some other numbers. And I'll talk about that in a, in a few minutes and see exactly what it is used for. What else do we have on the calculator? We have this crank here on the side. This is to reset all the numbers here to zero. And this one, this small lever here, is to use with this window here. And I'll talk about that in a few minutes. So let's see. Let's add a couple of numbers. Like uh, uh, you buy something, it's uh, $2.25. So I select the 2 here and I push it down. 2. 25, 25. So you can see on the top, 225. It's the first number. But you can see also on the bottom here, 225. It's the current number. And if I want to continue my calculation, I can reset this number by pressing here. And now I deleted the, the, the number on this window but I still have the total here displayed on the top. So now I want to add something else like $6.50. So I select 6, 5 and 0. As you can see on the top I already have the total 875. And just as a reminder I have the last number entered here in this window 650. Okay, so I added 2 and 6. So now where it gets interesting is, let's say that I want to add 6 more dollars. So I select 6 here. And as you can see on the top, it switched. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. It switched to 14. So the decimal was automatically carried on to the next column. So this is the idea with those machines here. You can quickly select the number that you want to add using those seven rows here. And automatically here, the decimal point will be carried over to the next column. So if I had again, that's a four here. If I had seven, oops, I switched to 21 and so on. And you can add up to 99,000. If it was dollars, that would be $99,000, which is a big amount for a small shop. I don't think that anybody can buy something $99,000 in a small shop. But anyway, that was made especially for that. And at the end, when you are done with the current customer, all you have to do is do one full rotation here. And everything is reset to zero. So anyway, 
nice machine, very small, very compact, kind of heavy. I don't know, it's something like five, six pounds. It's yeah, maybe five pounds. It's very heavy because it's well built, and uh, inside all the wheels are metal. And uh, that was very popular also in the in the fifties. And this one is made in uh, West Germany. So if you know about the German construction, you know that it will not fall apart next day. So thank you again, and uh, next time we'll talk about another type of calculator.